What up everybody, welcome back to another player review. By the way guys, at the time of this recording, I am two subscribers away from 200, so I'd appreciate it if you pull down your pants and hit that subscribe button with your ding dong. So yeah, let's get into the video. So this is Storyline Maeda. You can get them by doing the season objectives. Once you reach level 15, you will have a choice between Sergeant, Maeda, and Thornsby. I of course chose Maeda, because he's freaking fast. 96 pace, man. 87 shooting too. That's great, right? He would be he would make a super super duper super 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 sub, right? So one bad thing about him though is that he is a three star three star three star skill moves and three star weak foot. Now another thing that might be uh that might suck about this card is it'll be harder to link with him since he's on the Portuguese league. There aren't that many great players from there. Also he's Japanese. But if we look at his attribute details, oh my goodness, 97 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, attacking positioning 89, finishing 91, that's amazing. But his passing though, it looks pretty poopy, except for that short pass, it looks okay, the rest of it looks poopy, look at that long pass, it's yellow, Ugh. If you take a look at his dribbling stats, oh my gosh 99 agility that is more than saint maxim in the dribble god himself that is 99 agility wow this man is like a super saiyan ninja ball control 87 which is pretty good, pretty good. dribbling 81 i mean could be better you know composure is also 81 but like I played a few games with him, it, it didn't really feel like a problem to me because I just shot it, it went in most of the time. Now his stamina is also 99, so this man is not gonna get tired ever. This man is like a tank, bro. All right, guys, it is time for us to hop in a few rivals matches and absolutely dominate the offense with this new Maeda. Let's stick him right here in in, in place of Maximin. Get out of here. Yeah, I would use him as a super sub. But for the sake of the video, I want to get as much gameplay with them as possible. So yeah, guys, let's get into some gameplay. Oh, oh, Maeda picks up the ball. Oh, my, move out of the way. Here's Maeda running. Maeda running. Maeda! Off. Oh. Turning. Maeda. Whip it in. Ma oh. Goal. Oh, another post shot, bro. Why is this guy just hitting the post? Come on. You surely can't screw this one up, Maeda. You screwed it up, Maeda. Oh, my. All right, Maeda, come on. Come on, Maeda. Dribbles past them all. Get the ball, Maeda. Get the ball, Maeda. Get the ball. Golasa. Dazen, Maeda. He finally puts it away, bro. Here we go, Maeda, once again. Once again. Where will he go? You never know where Maeda... Oh, come on. Here's Maeda once again. Turn. Golazo. Days in Maeda. Goal. That was a nice little play there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that spin. Oh, spins around. Pass. Golazo. Goal. Maeda again. Ah, oh, what? He just took it from my back. Give me that. Come on, Maeda. You got this, Maeda. Maeda! Goal! Hat trick, Maeda! Let's go, guys. We managed to get him a hat trick. Let's go! So, guys, in conclusion. Maeda is freaking garbage. I'm never using him in my starting squad ever again. I'm still going to use him as a super sub though. Because whenever everyone else is tired, I just put him on and he's like wrecking everyone. But yeah, whenever other people are actually not tired, he's garbage. When he's under pressure, he's garbage. His composure is garbage. Absolutely horrible. His finishing looks super good. But if there's someone pressuring him, he can't shoot for anything, bro. Not even to save his life. He's horrible. Don't use this guy. His composure is garbage. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next video.